I set out to design a program that builds utility athletes. Those that are interested in being a jack of all trades that can adapt and perform under any circumstances. Instead of getting ready, we stay ready. And we do this through a balanced program that focuses on four key components. Hypertrophy, endurance, athletic functionality, and holistic training to keep you injury free. We call this heat training with the goal of not just looking good, but feeling great and performing at the highest level, this program embodies my motto of an instrument, not just an ornament, let's go. Hypertrophy. Now this is training that's gonna be focused on progressive overload. It's gonna help you gain size and strength. You'll be lifting heavier week in and week out. This is gonna help with body composition. You're gonna look more sculpted as the weeks go by, and you're gonna feel great as you increase strength endurance. In this training, we incorporate both cardio and muscular and stamina to ensure you're as resilient as you are strong. Athletic training. This component is all about functional movement patterns and explosiveness. We're making sure you're athletic in every sense of the word. Training holistically. This holistic approach to training ensures that you're not only strong and fast, but also balanced and injury free. We're going to have you doing proper warm-ups that aren't just going to be static stretching. These dynamic warm-ups are gonna leave you sweating, putting you in a place where you're ready to work out. This is super important as it's one of the biggest things most training programs overlook. And it all starts right now. All right, day one, we're gonna be testing for a max out close grip. So when I say close grip, we're really meaning something that's not wide. So I'm gonna be setting up slightly just outside shoulder width. I would say wide is here and then super close would be inside shoulder width. So I find the smooth part of the bar there and then that's my close grip right there. I don't have a spot today, so I'm gonna be using the safety bars, which just allows me, if I needed to squeeze out underneath of it, I could. And basically, I'm just gonna increase my weight until I find my one rep max. I don't know if I can get this. You might need to call down the crazy Australian just to spot me. Hey Siri, call wifey. See if she comes and spots me, she's upstairs. Ring three. Oh, this is not looking good. Let's go upstairs, We're just, come on. Where's the loyalty? Hey wife, are you screening my calls? No. <laughs> oh, you're filming? Oh, we were about ready to get divorced. I need you to come spot oh. me. If you guys haven't watched last week's episode, it's our workout together. Morgan actually holds it down. She's a weapon. Thanks, babe. I was about to ask another girl in the gym too, but I'm kidding. All right, help Let's me start. off here. I'm just trying to get one. It's close grip max day. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, let go. Oh, too easy, mate. Let's go up. Three, two, three, two, three. Okay. That's my man. I want to go 350. Can't, can't really know what the limit is until you fail on something. So don't be afraid of failure. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so scared. Babe, you could have just done this. You didn't have that much strength. No, it's just, a, it'll be just literally five pounds. <laughs> Bless your heart. Good spotting. I failed at 350. Well, you can actually go. I gotta do my working sets now. Thank you so much. Thanks for uh, proving your love to me. Bench press is done and dusted. We have neutral grip pull up now. Biggest thing here. Gotta start from a dead hang position. Chin has to go over. Limit the kicking. I would say a little bit is fine there, but I don't want none of that. Gotta find a belt. Thank you. We'll see how 70 feels. I'm hoping to get like 95 on this. Oh yeah, it's actually kind of heavy. So the reason I'm doing all of this, one rep maxing is because all of my strength progression stuff, bench press, pull-ups, will all be based off one rep max. We'll be using a percentage of that over the next eight weeks. If you saw my last video, we talk about an RPE and that's rate of perceived exertion. So 10 out of 10 would be, I can't do anymore. Like picking a weight, I fail on the 10th rep. That's a 10 out of 10. Hard thing about that is if you're using RPE on days that you don't feel as great, you're not gonna be going all out. That's why I love actual percentage. We come in here, 
we test, we base all of our future workouts off of that. It's not about how you feel. Facts don't care about your feelings. Oh yeah. All right, we're going straight to the heavy set. Too easy. 115. On this program, you can either use your testing week and, and use that to test, or you can base off of everything off of an RPE. We've made it uh, useful for everyone. Oh, I don't know if I got my chin all the way over that, but we're counting it. It's a good set. Now I got my working sets. of just different points. Those last ones were the worst. Christian, let me see the camera. You try them. Put your elbows under the ground. There you go. Oh, that a boy. Elbows under the ground. Oh. Good try, good try. All right, that's basically it for day one. Well, I got one more thing. I gotta go run a mile, but I'm definitely not doing it with my shirt on, so. This morning I weighed 214.7. I imagine right now after some food, I'm damn near closer to 220. Let's go see. 219.2. It's not a bad weight, but I gotta go run a mile at 219 pounds. So at the end of this, my whole goal is to get better at running long distance. And I hate the word hybrid athlete. I just think all of our programs, you wanna be the best athlete you can be. And we program that in to be bigger, faster, stronger. That's what we do. So just like we did with a percentage of the max, we're doing that with a percentage of this mile time. Set to a seven. Seven minute, 30 pace. Oh, this isn't too bad, I can go a little faster. I say that now. Get my sports bra up. Boobs bouncing, I got boob sweat. Ladies, I feel ya. <laughs> 709, not great. It's not awful. <sighs> Definitely feel like mobility is going to be a huge part of it, but uh, 7.09 is my starting time. Stretch out, eat right, get rest, repeat. Day one, done and dusted. Day number two, the way the program set up, upper body day, lower body day, first kind of strength wave be some zombie squats, closest thing. We're gonna test on that, it's gonna be a front squat. So today, I'm gonna work up to a one rep max for front squat. I haven't done heavy back or front squat in a long time because of my lower back. Feeling like with all the mobility I've been doing, really feel a lot better with my lower back and my right hip. So we're gonna give it a go today. Knock on wood, there's no wood in here. Let's get it after it. It's so actually even before all of this, I've done a proper active warm up. All of our active warm-up stuff will be in the app, will be in your guys' challenges. So don't, don't think we're just throwing you to the wolves here. Man, that doesn't feel very light. All right, right belt it up, suited and booted. A little bit more brutal than I thought. Nice and low on the eccentric. I'll, I'll say that low and slow. So I feel like I could probably get 335. Let's go up. We'll go up a little bit. Yep, we'll go with 315. I haven't really done actually a front squat probably in three months at all. So that being said, not too bad. Just because we did a max doesn't mean we're done for the day. Still have some leg stuff, so most of it's superset. Day three of testing. Today is a push day. With these later days in the week, we're gonna focus on a little bit more speed, athleticism, being explosive, but also muscular endurance and hypertrophy, of course. So push-ups. Now we've standardized the push-up to a hand release. Let's go down, hands come up, all the way to a locked out position there on top. So have a 
iPhone going or a timer, set it up for 60 seconds, count that down. And remember, all the way down, all the way up. So we're gonna start in this position. In three, two, one, go. One. Oh. oh, definitely could improve on the muscular endurance. When you go hand release to full extension, it's a completely different beast. For our second standardized test today, we're doing sit-ups, push-up sit-ups, they go well together. This is also gonna be an ab day later on, so we're gonna hit this at the start and then finish up with abs. The way we've standardized our sit-up, an ab mat is what I have here. Really, if you have a pad or whatever, it's great, but we're gonna lay back, let our knees open up, hands over our head, come up, touch your toes. It just has to be past your ankle. Hands have to come back to touch the floor each time. That's gonna be our sit up there. So we're gonna set it for 60 seconds here. Make sure you get good reps. Hands overhead, go. Oh, those were actually harder than the push-ups for me. I think it just goes to show I had some core work to do. Core is kind of everything, so we're gonna be doing a lot of core work in this program in order to get you better at not only lifting, but also at cardio capacity. Being able to run, you have to have a tight core, strong core. Thursday, which is day four on the program. It's a pull day. So for testing week, we're gonna be testing pull-ups, neutral grip, max reps, one set with great form. Um, we're then gonna hit the rest of the workout, which is different than week one will be. In the normal program, it will be track interval workouts. So really to work some aerobic threshold stuff. To get faster, we're gonna be testing our 400 meter dash today. 400 meter, I just, it takes me back to high school, feeling like I'm gonna throw up, not easy. 400 meters is a sprint. So that's about as high intensity as you can get. We're working on athleticism. So you'll see that throughout the program, working functional movements that translate to get you in a, almost in a game day ready type environment. So we're gonna see how this goes. It's been a whole week of testing. I'm not gonna lie, my body's feeling it. So well, I'll show you guys real quick. Gotta go here, all the way up, all the way down. I'm kinda nervous here. I feel like I should get 20. I don't know if I will. A little kick there at the end. I felt like I could've got a couple more, but form would've been questionable. So that was 20. Don't feel too bad about that. I'm gonna jump into the rest of this pull workout. So when we're talking about pull muscles, back, posterior delts, biceps. We get a little drink of water, get into it. All right, guys, I'm out here, hot as hell. Waited till sundown, trying to push back this 400 meter for time because I know it's gonna hurt. We wanted to do it over here at the high school. Who would have thought? On a weekday night, there'd be a soccer game going on. So what we've done is on the Garmin and on the truck, 400 meters from this light post down to the last light post, essentially. Anything under a minute 10, I'm saying is gonna be okay. It's been a while since I've dead ass sprinted. And I'm out of shape. Could have gone faster, but I felt like a baby giraffe running. Did I look stupid on there? Not gonna lie. Kind of hurt a little. But what we're gonna do right now, 
Christian's in the truck. Get to 15 miles an hour, hold it at 15. I'm gonna try to run with you, and then I'm gonna try to run faster, and then we're gonna see if I can get like 18 or 19. Two, one. That's 18. That's 19. Oh, yeah. 19. <laughs> I'm done. I think the fastest I've ever ran was 20.5, so you were catching me at 19, though. I think I maxed out at 18. Ugh. I'm done for today. A Friday, Friday, Friday. Body's feeling really beat up. Gonna make sure foam roll, stretch, do our active warm up before jumping into our last day in the gym, leg day. So we got two testing movements and a testing Metcon, and then a little workout in between. So we're gonna be doing a broad jump or high jump. We wanna test that explosiveness. On this program, we have that emphasis on athleticism. Being explosive is a big part of that. Testing broad jump or high jump is really gonna show you where you're starting, and eventually we're gonna improve upon that. So, and then we have a little Metcon that's 30, 20, 10, doing some unique movements, kick sits, things like that. Feeling tired, so I'm gonna go through not only some foam rolling, but our active warm up routine. I've said this before, our active warm up on these programs is gonna get you more athletic than most other programs out there, just in general. So, this program, you can hear me talking. Heart's elevated, I'm sweaty, I'm ready to jump. Let's talk about the broad jump here. So, set up where you can visually see that you're behind a line. We're gonna be hip flexion, throwing the hands, hip extension, trying to get as far as we can. On this, you have to stick the landing. If you step back, it doesn't count. And then have someone or, you know, be able to mark where you landed, where the back of your heels mark. That was stuck. We're gonna measure from this line to the back. We are at eight feet, eight inches. My best ever is like nine feet, four inches, three attempts here. Throwing those hands is gonna get you explosive. All right, we'll measure that one. Eight feet, nine inches. You can either do the broad jump test or do the standing vertical. We're gonna show you how to do the standing vertical. So we're not stepping into it. We're gonna be jumping up. We're actually gonna get our reach first. So if you have a piece of tape or chalk, just chalk the tips of your fingers, stand nice and tall, reach, touch. I've marked out where I'm at now. We're in flexion. We're gonna be jumping into extension, jumping up and touching. Little tip on this, don't look to where you're touching. Try to reach. If I do this, I'm gonna be able to get a little bit higher. Here we go. And from there, I'm just gonna measure the difference right at about 30 inches. So good, not great. Best vertical I've ever had is 34. So I got some work to do. I've established my jumping bases. Now we're gonna get into our workout. All right, a lot more supersets this leg day. A little bit more speed work, higher reps, some exercises you're typically not used to. This Metcon, we gotta get it done. Also, tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. So we have two off days on the program. One is an active recovery day. So on the program, you'll see 20 minutes of running. It's a timed run. If your goal is more swimming based or maybe biking, get outside, do one of those things. Want to try to give people two days outside the gym. Do whatever it is that you want, but stay active on Saturday, Sunday, do some mobility, but nothing too strenuous. So we're gonna start off 30 sit-ups and then we have 30 reps of kick sits. Kick sits are here in tabletop position, boom. Boom, 15 each side, and then we have 30 air squats. So you have to break 90 degree, then boom, straight into 20, and then 10 of each. So we're gonna count down from 10 seconds, and we're gonna get into it. Two, one, and we're off. One, two, The goal is to be able to do that without stopping and resting at all. Definitely got to get stronger in the core. Enjoy tomorrow. Get your 20 minute time run or your other cardiovascular component. Rest up Sunday. We'll see you back Monday. All right, one final thought to leave you guys with. Today is Saturday. Ended up playing golf and then pickleball, which meant that is where all of my extra, you know, my active recovery went. So with, with golf, burning a lot more calories than you think. Pickleball, an hour and a half, we actually burned a ton of calories. So just substituting, and that's what this program's all about. 
We're training to be more athletic. We're training to be more explosive. We're training to be that utility athlete, which means you can do anything. And the agility that pickleball has, is just a really fun sport to do. I'll concentrate more on long distance running as I get closer to the half marathon. But what I really wanted to focus on right now, macronutrients, things changed a little bit. On this program, training like this means more carbohydrates in my diets is that's the body's preferred energy source when we start talking about the output that we're wanting to do. So protein, great for retaining muscle, body composition. I'm on about 230 to 250 grams of protein. Fats, 80 to 90 grams. Carbohydrates, that's where when we're doing all the sprinting, when we're doing explosive movements, our body is going to utilize those carbohydrates. So do not fear them, especially under this program. Tonight, you can see not skimping away on the rice, almost two cups here, seven grams of chicken, avocado. My biggest problem is not eating enough. So on this program, I'm gonna have to really focus on fueling my body. As we get closer to this half marathon, carbohydrates are what's gonna increase the most. Also, because the wife's Australian, we got diet ginger beer from Bundaberg, Australia, brewed in Australia. So crack and open one of these. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you next week for more training. We're actually gonna start the actual program after a good testing week. Cheers, mates.